Alright guys, so we are in and this is how it's going to go the whole time out here. So, uh, DA, couple first gen CRXs, uh, the car legal Gretty kit on the S2K and you guys know this S2000 too. Then we have uh, the Gretti CRX, all in the all in the first booth here. So that's that's how that's how today's that's how today's gonna show is gonna go. So I'm gonna battle the music a little bit, um, but I'm I'm literally just gonna start running through. So I'm gonna show you guys what's here. I'm gonna try and just run through and just just uh, the place is gigantic so it's gonna be fun uh, we're gonna start working through what's here today and you're gonna see a little of everything from what I'm seeing in the parking lot so you got a DC2 DC5 NA1 uh, you get the the Civic SI but if you look at it he's got front and rear slicks on it so he's got the K big turbo and since he's running front and rear slicks he's got the all-wheel drive set up on it that's that's pretty crazy uh you got the eg full drag setup you got the skinnies in the back so he's only front wheel drive on this one that's super clean though gigantic gigantic turbo on the b series that's how uh <laughs> I know I'm gonna say it a lot, but that I have a feeling is how today is gonna go. You got another NA1 NSX, got a new body Liberty Walk, uh Y body NSX, wrapped in a really nice blue with like like a pink uh fleck on it. CRX Mugen wheels, Recaro seats. That's actually a really clean driver right there. That's a really good looking car. Um, let's see. So it's always the, the argument I make uh, whether or not you get the EF, if you get the Civic or the CRX, but you guys know my opinion that the CRX by far, at least for me, <laughs> <laughs> wins out over the EF but you know that's my opinion you guys let me know what you think about that we got uh got some EG's Civic SI we're gonna run down a bunch uh, Civic Type R's this this line just keeps going so I'm gonna run kind of row to row just kind of see what's going on and uh I'll probably walk through this this whole thing three, four times by the time I'm done looking at everything. As we get a little further away from all the boosts, the music kind of goes away, so I'll be able to talk to you guys a little bit more. Tees, nice white tees on a blue CTR. Black, first gen S2K. Looks like he's got the HKS kit on it. HKS supercharger kit. Y body on the TSX. That actually looks pretty good. I like the way the Y body fits on it. Just little over fenders, little add ons. Still project, carbon fiber hood. Get the whole, whole kit on it. EM1. That's that's it not much more you need to do to that car em1 he's got a little little lower splitter on it still has the stock wheels dropped on you know whatever Let's see if we can see what coils it's on nice and simple like that's easy All right, I'll give a little love to this side. Got a couple stanced cars, a little stanced S2K, red top. 
Got the headlight conversion. Actually, it doesn't look bad. EP3 for for all you that uh, that love it, and you're the you know the, you're the only few. It it just never got enough love. I mean, it really wasn't a bad car. It just he looks like he's got the oh he's got a Mugen front grille. It looks like it's the headlight conversion, but it doesn't look like a Type R one. Um, could be. Let's see. What else we got over here? Integra front end conversion. Little DA. And then we're hitting the back of the lot. They're still they're still like bringing cars in. Um, the Accord actually is really clean. Big brake kit up front. Acura wheels. I actually like it. That's that's a really clean Accord. Got yeah, another one next to it. That was the one we saw in the trailers. We were coming in. And then uh, right-hand drive SIR. Oh, okay. So we'll spend a minute here. Nice classic set of wheels. Clean right-hand drive. Interior looks real nice. It's got the period correct fogs on it. The headlights have a instead of being like the type r ones that are blacked out it's got the sir ones which were more more of a more of a chrome it looks like they're just aged just a little bit but the car itself looks really good interior is nice and clean on it i know you guys aren't going to be able to see that through the window but it's actually a really good looking car this right here this is this is exactly how i would do it Get, a, get an SIR so you get the B series, run it nice and clean so you can just use it as a daily and just have fun with it. That, I mean, it's a Honda, that thing will run forever. Got the four door, and then we got the whole back of the lot they're still gonna have to fill in. You guys look, look at the way this looks. So that was the row I just came up. You got another row here, another row here, and then like six more rows going down that direction. So. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep running up and down these rows and just kind of show you what's here. And I'm going to try and cover as much of it as I can for you. So you guys let me know what you think. Carbon fiber. Looks like you get the J-swap in it. EM1. I think I need an EM1. What do you guys think? Should I get it? Alright, so I I want another Honda. I want one. So here's the question. Do I 
stay with the old school um, 90s, you know, early 2000s Honda. Do I get one of those? And just, you know, which, which one do I get? Do I get, you know, an EM1, an EK9? Do I go back and get an Integra? I had one of those. I've had a bunch of the Civics. Which, which one would be the best to go to? Or do I just jump up and get one of the new ones? Get like an FK8 or an FL5 or the new Type S Integra and just run one of those? Because those, all those cars are fun too. I want something I, want something I can daily take to the track every now and then and then just have fun with it because you know you get that honda reliability you don't have to worry about anything so if if which which one do you guys think i should get which one do you think would uh would be the most fun or just list which one you guys have and if you if you really enjoy it how long you've had it why you like it drop those comments down below let's talk about it. let me know let me know I, I want to get into a Honda again, so let me know which uh, which Honda you think you think I should get into. All right, let's uh, let me turn you guys around, show you what's going on over here. Got a really clean, super clean EM1 on TEs, matching valve cover. You got the the EG, Recaro's, another EG. This one's K swap, so it's just really, really clean inside. Look how clean the engine bay is on that one. Get another EK. Purple this time. I like the purple. Got a matching valve cover on it. Everything's super clean on it. Then you got the, the spoon one. So, you get the, the EK hatch, spoon wheels. All spoon themed on this one. Fully gutted out. Fully gutted out. Sherrard harnesses. Spoon wheel. Got no cluster in it at the moment, but it looks like it's set up for like an AEM um, or one of those types of heads up ones. And this, oh man, this, these row of cars right here are just crazy. So you got the EF. Nice B swap in it. Surprised it's not turbo because most of them are. Um, this this EG I've seen a couple times, and this one is just absolutely beautiful. Everything done to it has the supercharger TEs. The the colors perfect. I can't. I think this one has an S2K uh, S2K cluster on it. So you got the Recaros in yellow. Yep, you got the S2K cluster right there. This one is super, super clean. Um, I really, I really dig this one. The way the guy did it and everything is just really good. So he's got the Vortec supercharger set up. Got the custom overflow there. He's got all the gauges, everything for underneath and inside the car. And then you got uh, Ferrari's. Uh, Civic right here that we've seen before. This one says it's not a show car, but we've had this discussion. I know he drives it, but this car looks just absolutely immaculate. There is nothing wrong with this car. Every nut and bolt, everything's been touched on it. I commented on one of the last videos that even like, even like the little clips here don't even look like they've been touched. Like that's how clean this car is. Um, I really, really like this build. Caged out. He's got the Type R spare in the back. Um, RS cluster. Like everything about it is just super, super clean. Um, that one, that one's got to be probably one of my favorites. That's here. Uh, let's see what we got over here. We got a couple. Get the Hasport tent over here you got the the ek with the is this the one that's got yeah with the front end swap on it it's like an integra front end or an accord excuse me front end on this one huh and then a couple efs over here that are super super clean 
um, swapped out. Both have uh, B series in them. Really, really clean. I like the racing heart wheels that are on them too. Let's see what else we got. Jackson Racing, FK. Got some more. It looks like we have all the food vendors over here. Really clean, really clean EK. Uh, silver tees, silver on silver. Right hand drive EG with yellow, yellow interior. Yellow interior. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to. I know you guys can see that yellow, because I can see it from like a mile away. <laughs> that actually looks really cool. So I like the I like the old school OEM fogs on it. Let's see what else we got over here. Looks like everybody crowded around. A couple of them over here. Let me see if I can get you guys a quick look. So Hawaii tags, right hand drive, EK9, uh, K swapped with ITBs. Everything has like matching anodized. Like this purple and teal and that looks that looks really cool next to it you have a a nice like type r blue okay swapped carving strut bar looks really good the color on it's incredible Looks like it has a rear gut on it. You got the cage. But I I like this. I like this EK9. I I I'd be down for EK9. The prices actually aren't too bad for these. I mean really. Let's uh let's see what else we got. Remark that does exhaust and stuff. Have an FL5 here. Got two FL5s. We got uh, another EK SIR like swap setup on this one. Got Advans, nice turbo kit. Um, nice and clean. We got FD2 conversion on this one. Nice wide body up front. Got a little wide flare on it, but otherwise it's it's just set as a an FD2 conversion. Let's see what else we got. First row, second row. Got Spoon Sports uh, fit over there. You're looking at a, a Turbo Odyssey with a side exit exhaust. Nice big, nice big turbo right here. And come down the side. Let me show you. Come down the side. You got the the side exit on the exhaust. All right, we got Spoon's uh, little fit here. Next to the fit, looks like we have a left-hand drive Integra Type R. And then, as always, a bunch of bunch of Type Rs. So, yeah, I didn't even realize there was as many FL5s. Got Honda out of here doing their thing. FL5 pulling out right now. You got another FL5 on bronze TEs. That's that's pretty that's pretty cool. Looks good. What's good, Dama? I so to the end, yeah. Open up the door, watch all the G's forward Smoke clouds follow while we hit another quarter Fifties in a carry-on, feel like a transporter It's a privilege to know me, that's a hundred on my broski One, two, punch, damn this thing hitting fully Fresh pot of gumbo and we back up on our bully Beat by Dama, shout out to the boy Cookie Now I'm everything I could be, shades on with a hoodie Off a little something so you think I got my eyes closed These is one and none, no baby, these is not those Getting so much chicken, black cats out of tacos Getting so much packs like we gotta scan a barcode 
Getting so much A, cause we working out of ice. Should've went Indies, but you didn't, now you dry snow. Baby, come to Brooklyn, yeah, you know they moving shut and stone. Told her, pull it over, ain't got a Reno right though. Everything a process, checking in deposits. Got a shoot closet, many complex closet. He a true prophet, in a true pocket. Racket club days, yeah, we used to be on my fit. Getting so much, what was so much in this world? Mine is what you make it, then every day's a turn. I ain't never settled, so you better up the skirt. Put the pedal to the flirt, yo, check the dash first. Getting so much, what was so much in this world? Mine is what you make it, then every day's a turn. I ain't never settled, so you better up the skirt. Put the pedal to the flirt, yo, check the dash first. Couple really nice right hand drives here. You got an EG, um, kind of spoon sport themed wheels, calipers, uh, Recaro seats. Move over to a CRX on Mugens that has the full leg. It's not, I don't know if I want to call it tan or brown, but it's got the, the full brown interior on it, which you never, never see. Um, that's actually really cool. We got, uh, S2K next to that on some C's. And then let's keep going down and see what else we can find down this row. Get away from the couple cars that are playing their own music. That turbo kit, the EG. Got the DA with a with a K swap in it. Everything's kind of tone on tone in here, real low key. So it's got matte black in the engine bay, got the gray on black everywhere else in the car. It's nice and clean, looks like it was originally red at one point. You got wide body, time attack, S2K over here. Um, that, it's crazy, it's like a Jay's racing kit I think. Wide body, got the titanium vents. Huge Jays Racing Wing. It's actually, it's actually really clean for being an actual race car because, you know, they just get beat on and, you know, never, never, never driven gently. So it looks pretty cool though. Nice real clean EG next to it. Um, on some work emotions. Got just the Momo steering wheel and otherwise pretty stock inside. Let's go down, keep going down this row, see what else we can find for you guys. I'm trying not to really pass anything up, but there's just so many cars here. Got the Odyssey, Mugen kitted, right hand drive. You know, like I, like I said to you guys, I really enjoy when they import a car that's not the normal, like, you know, right hand drive, JDM import, so. It's cool to see that. Handful of preludes again. Bunch of good cars. Looks like we're gonna make the end of this row. Switch over and do another row. And like I was telling you guys, we're not even we're not even halfway through. Like it's just row on row on row. So if y'all are Honda fans, just just continue hanging out because this is this is never ending. We're gonna do a uh, another row right here. I'll try and highlight some of the, you know, some of the ones that stick out to me. You got a nice four-door DC2 Type R, or excuse me, um, K swapped on this one. We've got, let's see what else we got down this way. A nice clean Del Sol. That's nice to see. Like most of the time, they end up. I don't know. I don't know if there was something about them, but they always end up like rusted out and everything. Uh, let's see. Nice little EK. It's got it, uh, got like that street race prep on it. The purple is actually really nice for color. Um, whatever color they chose for, for the purple on it's actually really nice. It's got a nice big flake on it. So it's kind of got that, uh, that Kanjo racing type of feel to that you know nice simple uh integra type r front end swap a very very dirty crx and then the s2k is actually really clean black got the bronze te's on it voltex wing cr front lip 
Nice and easy for an AP1. Just 9K all day on that car. Let's see what else we got down here. You end up getting close to the music again. And I'll end up having to cut and just uh, show you guys some other things. All right, let's start making our way down another row. You got a DC2 spoon themed here. Looks like it's for sale. Um, so if you guys are looking for a right hand drive DC2, there you go. see what else we got down this row uh, for some reason down here it looks like people are playing music so I'm gonna do my best to show you guys some cars down this way and try and run through where the music's playing so if I kind of skip past a couple cars real quick that's what the reason is you got the the Y body S2K this one's fully done huge looks like full race turbo kit on it that thing that thing looks like fun we got our guy from arizona with the smx uh right hand drive little suv it's like a like a really big honda city um but we met him at an event yesterday and no he came down from uh came down from arizona so hey you got it washed <laughs> How's it going, man? Good, brother. How are you? Good, good. thanks for hanging out to the end um that was the honda meet so what'd you guys think of it there were so many good cars there today um there were a ton of just really good vendors um and, and i didn't even know there were that many fl5s here in california so it was cool um to see the brand new civic type bar out there and then just see all the different ways all the different Hondas could, be, could get built. Um, I 
like I said in the video, I'm, I'm actually missing a Honda. Um, I think I need to add one, um, not replace, because I'm, I'm definitely not done with the R32. Uh, even when it gets put back together, I, it still has a long ways to go. So, um, but yeah, I think I want to, I think I want to get back into a Honda and add a Honda. So you guys drop those comments below. Let me know, uh, let me know what Honda you think I should get into or, uh, what your favorite Honda is or was at the show. Um, but anyways, I hope y'all enjoyed it. Uh, I think that's it for today. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, I'll see you guys at the next one. If you're new to my channel, check out my other, uh, my other videos. If you like them, please hit that subscribe, hit that notification. It really does help me grow my channel. If you guys been with me a while, Hey, I appreciate you. Thanks for hanging out. Um, I hope you're enjoying the ride we're going on and uh, I'm going to keep doing this. All right. I'll see you guys at the next one. Thanks.